What's up guys? Hope everyone is doing well. This is going to be a little quick tutorial on getting rid of some unwanted objects on your iPhone. So just recently Samsung came out with their S21 series phone, something called Object Eraser. And although we can't use Object Eraser because it's an Android thing, we can do something very similar in our iOS. So if we go to my little Atort Photo photo app, we have my little go to apps and retouch. This is called touch retouch. So I've been using this app literally since probably the beginning of its release in the app store. And it's come a long way. And in the beginning, I don't know for the old school people who may have used this or know about it, they had this really gimmicky kind of robotic weird voice. Welcome to touch retouch. This tutorial demonstrates how to remove complex objects from the picture. Let's take a closer look at the image. There are some people on the picture. Also, we can see some border breaks. We will try to remove them. Select lasso and mark the area to be removed. Press go button and remove the first unwanted object. Now let's move to seating people. Select brush. Adjust its radius as desired and mark unwanted area. Press go button. Looks pretty good. This app has always been really powerful and I've been rocking it for a long time. So this is the app. I believe it's $2. So it's well worth it because it does a really good job. You can go into Snapseed and use the healing tool for certain things. But we're going to talk about Touch Retouch, which is this app again right here on the down. We're going to touch. We're going to talk about Touch Retouch, which is this little app at the bottom in the middle right here. Touch Retouch, and I'm going to go and I have a few images in my favorite that I pulled aside. So I'm going to go in the albums. It's pretty simple. It's a really easy interface. So we got the little tutorials that can kind of walk you through, and I think they kind of changed them from what they were. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go over here into my favorites and let's try, for example, I got a picture of this windmill. We'll try this first. So we have some people over here, say we don't want them in there, even though it's a sledding hill and it kind of helps make this shot. Say we have this branch over here that we want to get rid of. We have basically four different tools in the bottom. We have object removal we can click. And that gives us a brush, a lasso and an eraser. I essentially either use the lasso or the brush, and I can click the little arrow, that little left arrow over in the bottom left hand corner. And then we can go into quick repair. And then this is also something we can try to do. And essentially, that's it. I don't even go into line removal. I haven't played with that. And in the clone stamp, I don't use either. Honestly, I don't feel you need to use that the majority of time. So let's just go into object removal, I'm going to do essentially this branch right here. See on the left hand side, I'm going to do the lasso tool and let's see what happens. So I'm going to go outside of the image. So we make sure we selected the edge correctly. And we're going to literally hit go. And holy crap, that is it. <laughs> so you see, let me try I'm going to back out of it with this little left arrow key. And let's try object removal with the brush. And I'm just going to paint with the brush a little bit cover just the branch area and hit go. And essentially similar kind of result just two different ways to go about it. So let's go and try the lasso tool again. And I'm used to the lasso tool because in Photoshop, we have content aware fill. And this is what you do a lot of times you'll just make a selection, hit go, and pretty darn good. I don't know if it's perfect. It's not but let's try one more time. I'm going to first go and select the sledder, the kid hit go. And that did a pretty good job. And now let's select this dude. Boom. Make sure we have all of them. I'm going to go ahead and redo the lasso a little bit to get the bottom part of his leg and we'll hit go. And pretty darn good. This did a little funkiness. I mean, again, it is what it is. But you can go ahead and fine tune you got some repetition over here, maybe I can go with the brush. Repetition is always a dead giveaway 
when you have some kind of repeated pattern. And again, nobody's going to be looking at it that closely. I mean, they could, and you could kind of keep on tweaking and doing that. But zooming in is going to be a key part of getting a better removal for your selection. And again, you see this little area right here. Let's try to just do a little rough blend. That didn't really work. So let me try this. I'm going to just play. So that line is kind of crappy right over here. But again, I want to show you guys just roughly what it can do. And we'll go and zap this little dude out of here. Boom, done. And over here, same thing. Let's get these people out of here. We want you to go, go away, get the hell out of here. Boom. Maybe, no, that doesn't work. But you can go and clean it up and kind of blend it however you want. I mean, make, make it look, you know, a little bit better maybe. <laughs> So you see what I'm doing? I'm actually getting rid of some of those dirty snow. Let's just see what happens for the heck of it. No, that didn't look good. But you can kind of get an idea of what we're going at. And again, when you have this kind of selection, you got to be a little bit more conscious of what you're doing. But let's get out of this image. And again, here, let me go ahead and clear these one more second. So I'm going to go over here, clear edits. I'm going to go in the album again. And let's try this one more time with the quick repair. So the quick repair, let's go over here. No. And you could kind of see what it does. I don't personally like the quick repair as much because it does something kind of automatic. Let's try one more time with the quick brush. The minute you let go, it will basically try to zap away. So let's see. Oop, we got the headless dad. Oh, he's almost gone. Oh, yeah, he's out of here. And there we go. So let's try these guys now. Zoop. Zoop. And we'll blend that. Oh, okay, that kind of looks crap. See, it's the, oh, get out of there. Someone popped me out of the app. Let's try one more time. And not too bad. Two things I would go to are the object removal. And an object removal, I would either go to brush or lasso. Personally, I like lasso for whatever reason. I just like being able to do a little lasso around it and then zap it away. And then quick repair, do the quick brush. And between those two things, you can pretty much get rid of 90% of everything. And to me, it's probably just as powerful as what's on the S21 with that object eraser. So let's go into one more. Let's go into my little kitty, Simon. And now, easy little thing. So we can go into object removal, lasso. I can get rid of his little cool ball that he loves if I want. Whoop. Go. And that's gone. Let's try the sock. And again, sometimes you'll have to move the image over and it will stick like that. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm outside of the border. And voila. I mean, again, most people won't be able to tell. And if you want, you can go ahead and do little tweaks over there to get rid of the patterns or to change it up a little bit. And let's try this little chord over here. Zoom, boom, gone. Little repetition over there and voila. So pretty freaking rock star for an app on the iPhone. Let's try one more. We're gonna go over here. I got this image of these people that are standing in a really bad precarious place with Hawaiian shore pound, meaning shore break. That's super gnarly. This wave is really, really powerful. This family is totally unassuming, thinking they're looking at this pretty wave where they could easily die. So <laughs> let's get rid of the family, get them safely out of this picture. We're going to go ahead and try the lasso tool. Lasso the family. I'm zooming in on the image a little bit. You see it's selected everything by the green and voila not really the best because of this little foam part so let's back and undo this and i'm going to zoom in a little bit more i'm going to try the brush tool and just kind of brush over each person making sure they're covered completely and maybe let's just hit go with that one maybe i'll get rid of this little zone over there okay it's kind of getting okay that's not bad pretty good let's get rid of their little reflection Let's get rid of dude over here, thinking he is just taking his family for a nice safe stroll. 
irresponsible dead you gotta go and voila and let's get rid of that and zoom back out and maybe we could even get rid of this little shadow pretending they're not ever there and lo and behold they're gone i mean we got this repetition here but again i can go with the brush little tool and just zap in a little zone and kind of blend it and then we got that Maybe we get rid of some of this pattern right here, which nobody's going to ever know, but I'm being kind of particular. And that's that. So we have that before. And let's go all the way back. Tap, 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 tap. And you see what we're doing. We just kind of carefully remove the family. And we're going to go and get back to where we were. And then we're going to save it. So save as copy. And then we go into photos. And you can see we go from here to there. So I hope this helps, guys. Get familiar with Touch Retouch. Super powerful little app. Easy to use. And something that you can use in iOS with no issue. So that's it, guys. Aloha.